with us we have Corentin Bissot uh, online and we have Emma Bailing. Uh, Emma, can you tell us what is happening at universities around the world right now? Well, I can start by telling you what's not happening. Uh, they are not reducing their emissions in line with their own science. They are flying a lot around to different conferences. They are not eating environmentally friendly food, etc. Um, and in a lot of the cases, internationalization and sustainable development as goals are put against each other as arguments to not uh, stop flying. So this is what we students find problematic and we think it risks the credibility of the science and that they don't live in line with their own science. So what we are doing and what is happening is that we are starting a student movement that is very active in Sweden. We have just since this fall, we have 10 active groups at universities around Sweden that are actively working to impact universities to uh, uh, live in line with their own science and practice what they teach. And just now, 10 minutes ago, we had a pitch here and uh, are going international as well. So we are encouraging our fellow Nordic countries to start climate student groups and uh, also other countries around the world. Great, thank you. Quentin, you're with us online. Why should students care about the climate crisis? Oh, they should care because uh, it's a crisis, so it's urgent. Um, what we're doing here in France is a bit different from uh, what I just heard. Um, for sure, uh, universities need to stay in line with what they, uh, what their research is saying. Uh, but even uh, what they are teaching is not always in line with what uh, they, their research is saying. So that's what we are trying to change in France with the uh, uh, student manifesto. Uh, we've seen that one of the main restraints to more profound, more deep, like deeper change is um, the ability of today's leader to understand the climate crisis. And these find its roots in how the superior education does not talk enough about it. And we feel it's a huge problem. And we are um, mobilizing students uh, in France and also trying to put pressure on the government to try to change that. Great. And Emma, what change would you like to see at universities around the world? Uh, we would like them to start taking their science seriously by living by it. If they produce the knowledge about the climate crisis that says that we have just a few years to do something about it, they should take that very seriously and they know more than anyone else what needs to be done. So we want them to reduce their emissions in line with the 1.5 degree target of the Paris Agreement, uh, which is for industrial countries 16% per year, so a reduction of 50% in four years, and then we want them to be down to zero by 2030. And Corentin, what do you think needs to happen? Um, so, universities clearly need to be um, teaching deeper, um, uh, more clearly what's happening and give the competency to students to tackle uh, the climate crisis. For now, in France, in 2019, the only way for a student to um, understand what's happening in terms of our environment or climate is by his own um, curiosity. So if he's going to read by himself some articles, uh, watch some videos, but he won't hear about that uh, during his superior education if he or she doesn't uh, choose it as a specialty. So for example, you can do all your studies in finance without hearing anything about climate change, while this is going to be one of the main drivers of how our societies are going to evolve. So it is urgent that we teach that in university as soon as possible. And my last word to you, if you can say anything to all the students around the world watching, what would that be? Uh, can I say two things? You can say two things. Okay, so first of all, uh, we students can really make a difference at our universities. We can dig where we stand and we have more power than at least I thought before I 
uh, got involved in the climate student movement. And second of all, we really need all of you to make this happen and to save the future. We need as many people as possible. So don't hesitate to get in touch and get involved.